What is up, you sexy bitches? This is Thuggy Jr. <laughs> I know you're sexy. Unless I'm talking to a guy, and then this is just awkward. <laughs> but anyways, this is a fun game. I guess it's fun. <laughs> On hijacked. Obviously, I go 29 and 29. Yes, that's... It kind of sucks. Oh well, I still thought it was a pretty good gameplay, so I'm going to put it up anyways. Don't care. Do not care one bit. But I have a ton of information for you guys. If you guys are PS3 owners, you already know that you have a patch update, which is awesome. I'm glad Cherry's putting these things out. And man, is it a massive, massive list as well. Over 60 points that they addressed. Over 60. Damn, that's unheard of. Well, so far, <laughs> but that's cool. They're putting in a ton of effort, and from what one of their posts on Twitter, they said that as soon as the uh, patch releases for the 360, theater mode will be back, will be enabled. Once again, we can start putting together those sexy montages and tomahawk montages and, and awesome clips of any sort so look forward to that i'm excited the theater mode is going to be back that means i don't have to be recording and that i can actually look at things like this triple spray like a boss son don't even care that i died there not one damn bit because that triple spray was like an orgasm of joy <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna click on this page and i'm gonna read off some things that try not to bore you guys to death but and i'm gonna link this this the patch notes in the description so if you want to check it out you're looking for something specific i'm not going to go through everything but the things that i think are going to end up relating to the 360 are the score streaks which well the score streaks the em the equipment grenades smgs assault rifles sniper rifles and pistols and shotgun uh patches so I'll try to go through this as quick as possible. I hope you guys don't fall asleep. But, the starting off, I told you guys in a previous video that they were going to increase the cost of or how many uh, points you needed to get that UAV. It, it's bumped up from 350 to 425, so only a 75 point bump. I was hoping that they would have put it higher. I really was. But, that's okay too. At least they bumped it up a little bit. We'll see how that plays out. We'll see if uh, the skies get spammed with uh, UAVs again. The lightning strike added 750 millisecond delay. Now I think what they're referring to is when you hit that trigger or hit the OK, you selected all your spots. You hit OK between the time you hit OK and the time it actually deploys. So. It's going to take a little bit longer, which is good because you could almost drop it right directly on the red dots and nail them. So that's good. You have to per you have to plan it out a little bit. You have to be like, okay, well, this guy's right here, so maybe he'll be right there as I get done. So, But they also, they addressed the bouncing Betty by increasing the grace period between trigger and activation by 200 milliseconds. So now, well, it, it's just like it says. You trigger it, and it's going to take X amount of time before it actually goes off. And that's what they did. They made the time longer. So that's that's awesome. It's great stuff, because those things go off quick. Uh, they addressed cushion grenades, concussion grenades, decreasing movement penalty and turn speed penalty when hit. And that's great, because... When I got hit by those, it was pretty much you just assume you were going to die. <laughs> and this was something that I was interested in. I was curious how they were going to address the SMGs. I was thinking, oh, they're probably going to reduce bullet damage. But they had a better idea. So for all of the guns, they increased hip fire recoil. They increased the fire, the, the area that you can hit fire from. So, and they also reduce bullet penetration, so you're gonna have to probably run FMJs to help you get through those, those walls that aren't so paper thin now. 
And they also increase recoil on the MCSC and the PDW57. So good call. Good call. We'll have to try it out. We'll see what it's like. And hopefully <laughs> this is on the Xbox as well. You know, they also addressed uh, all the assault rifles and reduced idle sway for more reliable long-range aiming. That is awesome. And for the XM8, the FAL, the SWAT 557, they've increased recoil while using select fire. Good stuff, because that FAL was just nasty with with uh, that select fire on there. So that's good stuff. Gonna make it a little difficult for everybody to use, but I think, you know, for, for having that gun automatic, it's worth it. So, well, I'll have to try it out. I'll give my opinion on it. And let's see what else. They increased all hip fire spread with all the sniper rifles. They also increased the hip fire spread while using the laser sight with all the sniper rifles. So that's good stuff. That's that's good. I was kind of hoping they were gonna address that damn Remington that I hate with a passion. They didn't. Oh well. Maybe later. Maybe we bitch about that next. Yeah. Maybe maybe that'll get through. That works pretty damn well, don't it? <laughs> they also reduced headshot multiplier from 1.4 to 1 with the BR or the B23R and the Cap 40. So that's good because those pistols were crazy OP. <laughs> and I watched somebody get a triple kill with the BR23 or the B23R. On me and my friend in a random so yeah don't think that should be possible with the pistol but that's just my opinion <laughs> anyways guys I thought that was a great deal of information I think that stuff will relate over to the Xbox because it I don't think that that should those should differ in any way from system to system I'm sure that's gonna go for the PC as well so looking forward to that that's gonna be pretty cool now and next topic, I wanted to talk about how I want you guys as my fellow supporters. And I love you guys for that. I love you guys to death for it. And it's good to know that you guys have my back in the live streams and all that stuff. However, the guy that was talking shit in the live stream happened to be my real life friend. <laughs> so... This is how I want everybody to deal with everything. Not just my mods, everybody, all my fans. I know you guys support me, I'm not worried about that, okay? But when people talk shit, that doesn't mean they should be banned right away. Or even, I mean, if you think they're talking shit, don't say anything to them, you don't have to reply to them. In fact, most of the time, I'm like, eh, whatever, dude. Or maybe I'll say something, you know, silly back at them, you know? I, I don't let that stuff bother me. It's it's no big deal, you know. I eventually I'm probably gonna hit the point where I get trolls. It's gonna suck. I don't want to deal with people like that, but it's gonna happen. People hate on people. Like I said, I've dealt with bullying during my live stream, and if you guys didn't see my live stream, uh, the backstory is that one of my buddies came into the live stream. I don't know what he said, but uh, one of my mods ended up banning him. But it's it's all good. No feelings hurt. I don't care. He called me. We, I told him what was up. And uh, apparently Mandy is my girlfriend, according to him. <laughs> so, but yeah, guys, it's it's okay. You know what? Somebody wants to come to my live stream that doesn't know me, isn't subscribed to me, and they want to, you know, call me a douchebag or whatever, fine. Doesn't mean they should be banned. Uh, but if they keep going, they keep, keep going. You know, if you're not sure, ask me, should we ban this kid? And I'll be like, yeah, fucking ban his ass. Or no, no, he's fine. So that's that's the way I want you guys to deal with that. I appreciate it. It's good to know that you guys got my back. It's freaking awesome. But uh, the guy that got banned happens to be the my like tech guy, more or less. And I'll probably end up doing some editing for him so that he can post videos to his channel. And I don't know what his channel is, by the way. So, but... Oh, well, I'll get it from him later. But, you know, that, that's a, that'll that be cool. He, he's very tech savvy, so he can help me out, like, if I have router problems or something like that. Uh, most of the stuff I can figure out on my own. 
but it's good to have a friend that that knows all that technical crap so but anyways oh live stream tomorrow we're gonna do a uk friendly live stream i'm thinking somewhere between 1 and 2 p.m depending when i decide to gr get my uh lazy ass out of bed <laughs> and wake the f up so that that'll be tomorrow that'll be fun and I hope you guys tune in. And of course, like always, I'll put up a little video telling you to get your sexy asses over to my live stream and talk shit. And we're going to have fun, like always. And um, I don't know how long I'm going to stream for, to be honest. Uh, might be an hour, might be four hours. I, I don't know. But that last live stream, that was crazy. Almost four hours worth of live streaming. It was nuts. But I enjoyed it. It was all fun. Anyways, guys, I have got to go. I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.